Good evening everyone and welcome to Evening Prayer. It's great to uh, have you with us on this uh, Thursday evening. And we hope you're adjusting uh, to the reality that stage three is really just stage four with a new number. Uh, it's going to be interesting as we adjust to yet another uh, few weeks in this current uh, way of being. But one of the things we are seeing uh, in how the world reacts is one of the biggest economic stimulus packages in the history uh, of the world. And um, the sort of premise of how this works is that central governments are flooding and central banks are flooding their economies with credit, essentially cash. And the idea is that banks would take this and they would pass it on to the people and the businesses who need it most, which is us. And in fact, one of the, uh, the real reasons or, or the main causes of the Great Depression back in the 20s and 30s was that the banks refused to pass on the, their credit and cash. They essentially shut up their doors and they hoarded that credit. And what's interesting, uh, I think, as we go through the Sermon on the Mount, and good on you if you've stuck with us uh, for this very challenging uh, teaching that we have been going through as we pray every night. But what's really happening is Jesus is saying, through him, God is creating an economy of grace. That he is uh, giving us this incredible credit of grace and forgiveness that we could never earn and we could never really imagine to repay. But the premise of that is that as followers of Jesus, that we would pass that grace on to others and to create an economy of grace which expands and extends God's kingdom. I think that is the whole gospel message that God is bringing and we see it so clearly uh, in the Sermon on the Mount. And in our reading tonight, uh, Jesus is really highlighting that some of the really extreme uh, moral religious groups in his day, uh, particularly among the Pharisees and the scribes, are essentially using the law as a moral weapon. And like those banks back in the Great Depression, they are hoarding grace rather than passing it on. They're shutting down the kingdom of heaven rather than seeing it expand on earth. So we're going to uh, read for the first time um, the reading tonight. And um, yeah, just allow these words to, to hit you afresh. Our reading tonight comes from Matthew chapter 7 verses 1 to 6 and it's called On Judging Others. Don't judge people and you won't be judged yourself. You'll be judged, you see, by the judgment you use to judge others. You'll be measured by the measuring rod you use to measure others. Why do you stare at the speck of dust in your neighbour's eye but ignore the plank in your own? How can you say to your neighbour, here, let me get that speck of dust out of your eye, when you've got the plank in your own? You're just play acting. First take the plank out of your own eye and then you'll see clearly enough to take the speck out of your neighbour's eye. You know, what we often find in the Gospels is that Jesus teaches um, a truth, as we've heard tonight, and then he shows what he means uh, by uh, an incident or an event that happens. And I think we see this teaching tonight most clearly in an incident that happens uh, in John's Gospel. And Jesus uh, has uh, just been teaching on the Mount of Olives and he's in the temple. And uh, a group of uh, men bring in a woman um, who's accused has been caught in the act of adultery. And they say to Jesus, uh, this woman uh, has been caught in the act of adultery and Moses' law says that she should be stoned. What do you say? And this is the famous scene where Jesus uh, leans down and he uh, paints or, or scribbles in the dust. Uh, and as they get agitated and put more and more pressure on him, Jesus finally says, well, that's absolutely fine, but who of you is going to cast the first stone? Who of you is without sin? And uh, we see this really poignant scene as from the oldest to the youngest, uh, these, uh, this group of accusing men slowly melt away until Jesus is left with this woman and the crowd and he famously says to her does anyone accuse you now who condemns you uh, and neither do I go and don't sin anymore you know I think what's really interesting with uh, what Jesus does with this teaching and uh, in um, the temple is that he's not lowering the standards of the Christian life in fact the Sermon of the Mount is a radical uh, teaching on what the Christian life actually looks like but as his point is is that if we hoard grace through judgmentalism it doesn't actually lead to life and freedom. Uh, it leads to uh, being trapped um, in the pretense that we ourselves are God. With sense, we become hypocrites. 
And Jesus is saying it's really only through passing on the economy of God's grace that we can find ourselves in true freedom. And so we're going to read this uh, passage again and then we're going to respond uh, in prayer. Don't judge people and you won't be judged yourself. You'll be judged, you see, by the judgment you use to judge others. You'll be measured by the measuring rod you use to measure others. Do you stare at the speck of dust in your neighbor's eye but ignore the plank in your own? How can you say to your neighbor, here, let me get that speck of dust out of your eye when you've got the plank in your own? You're just play acting. First take the plank out of your own eye and then you'll see clearly enough to take the speck of dust out of your neighbor's eye. It's true, isn't it, that we can only give out of uh, what we uh, have received ourselves and uh, we often, our own harshest critics, we find receiving God's grace for ourselves um, the hardest of all. And so we just want to take a few moments now to pause and to ask the Holy Spirit if there's an area of our lives where we need to welcome uh, his grace, we need to ask him to expand us so that we can receive from him um, in order that uh, we have something to give out um, to others. So let's just take a moment now to ask the Holy Spirit to show us an area where we need him to speak. We pass on the grace that God gives to us and so let's take a, a few moments uh, now to just ask God who in our lives uh, we need to be passing our grace to. the most incredible things about this economy of grace that God has made for us in Jesus is that when we truly confess our sins he removes them from us forever that we're free from them and so tonight we're going to close by confessing those sins and I'm going to uh, pray this prayer and I just encourage you to make it your own to agree with these words uh, as we pray them merciful God we have sinned in what we have thought and said in the wrong we have done and in the good we have not done We've sinned in ignorance, we've sinned in weakness, we've sinned through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry. We repent and turn to you. Forgive us for our Saviour Christ's sake and renew our lives to the glory of your name. Amen. Hey, well, thanks for joining us for uh, Thursday evening prayer. And just a reminder that tomorrow, uh, Matt and Rachel will be back uh, to lead us at the end of the week. We hope you're well. Uh, God bless you. We'll see you soon. Praise God from whom blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above. Praise Father